What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. On today's video, we're going to be reviewing the Vatra lithium iron phosphate battery. This is a 51.2 volt battery, 105 amp hours capacity and 200 amp output max continuous battery here. And it has a Bluetooth app and it has a color touch screen display. We're going to go over that as well. The kit comes with a onboard charger and it comes with a charger adapter receptacle like in most battery kits these days this is the battery it says right here on the battery it weighs 102.5 pounds i have tested the battery on my scale and it's weighing in like 103 and a half pounds with this charger receptacle here so maybe that adds a little bit of weight to it let's go over some specs on this right here and uh, as far as the dimensions go number one the height of the battery Height of the battery is coming in just under nine and a half inches. The full on length is coming in just under 19 and a half inches and that's from the one side of the case to the other side of the case. Now, if we're going from one side of the case to the terminals, we're gonna be looking around 20 inches in length. Width of the battery is coming in just around 12 and a half inches wide. Now on both sides of the battery, you have these welded on feet they have some notches here, so you can drill certain holes for your application and bolt the battery down. The battery has two built-on handles to the very top. Now, normally I'm not the type of channel that likes to bust open batteries to show you the guts on the inside, but since it was just Phillip head bolts around the perimeter, I wanted to see the build quality. I pulled it apart and wow, it looks to be built very nicely. Not gonna lie to you. So I put it all back together and we went ahead and charged it up last night so we can run through some things on this color display here and that's what we're going to do next now the gauge has three different pages page one shows your percentage of the battery your current at the top right voltage and the temperature also time to empty page two here shows your discharge and your charge shows your capacity the cycles the status is normal it also has another temperature here as well in page three, it shows the battery cells built up inside this lithium battery to show you what's all the voltage is going on with those as well. Now, when you turn the battery off, the discharge will automatically turn off here. And when you turn the battery on, discharge will turn itself on. On the side of the battery here, you have a negative terminal, you have a positive terminal, you have an on and off button, and you also have the display screen connection point. Now the battery charger has a fan, cooling fins, several mounting points on there as well. If you wanted to mount this on board of your golf cart, you can do that. It also has a handle at the very top. Now the warranty policy states that they provide you a five year warranty for all batteries when used correctly in accordance with the manual instructions. Now in the kit, it comes with a Bluetooth app as well. And it shows you which app to download on the App Store or either the Play Store and how to set it up and how to use it. Now the instruction manual is pretty simple here. This right here is like a hard stock paper. It's very clear, easy to understand. And everything is in English. Now it says here in the specifications, the continuous charge current is 55 amps, max charge current is 100 amps, max continuous discharge is 200 amps, and you can peak for 400 amps for 35 seconds. All right, let's get this battery installed. Fits good inside the president here on one side of it. Still plenty enough room for storage or a small cooler. Now the battery gauge is sitting in this metal tray through a bracket. So what we could do is actually cut a big enough square here and we could mount our gauge there. Or we could leave it in the included bracket. We could mount it right up in here since the gauge bracket itself has three holes in it. 
I might just do that. All right, so I went ahead and mounted the gauge that came with the kit. Ran the wires underneath the floorboard, underneath the body. Mounted the battery right in here in place. We have enough room over there for a small cooler or some other accessories or even some storage. So after installing this battery and riding around for a while, we'll probably do a range test in an upcoming video. However, you could probably see range of between 40 and 45 miles per charge. And that's even with an Avitas AC high output kit. You know, and we're not talking by bumping the miles per hour down and everything like that to achieve those speeds. No, we're gonna be running 35 miles per hour with that. And we'll do that in an upcoming video. So I have the golf cart set up here. I changed the amperage output to 400 amps for the battery here. Here's the deal guys, even though I set it up 400 amps max output, does not mean that the Navitas will constantly pull 400 amps. It just limits it at 400 amps. With this normal driving on the highway, I rarely even see anything close to 200. Now these hard launches that we're about to do, we're gonna see some high amperage spikes there, but other than just riding, it'll probably be around 100 to 120. Let's hit it. Not sure if you can see that or not, but it went up to like 300 amps, a little over 300 amps on that initial hit. Like right now we're pulling 21 amps, right? 30, we're traveling 10 miles per hour. So let's get this thing in here rolling a little bit. All right, so yeah, that's fine. We're running the uh, what's the Vatcher battery. We got 400 amps set on the Navitas. Let's go from a dead stop. Appreciate you guys watching today's video. I'll leave a coupon code in the description below in the link go so go down into the video description there will be a coupon code a link where you can save money on this battery setup if you're interested in this battery appreciate you watching today's video until next time we'll see y'all later